Hey everyone, welcome to ISTQB Foundation Exam Questions and Answers. And in this video, I'm going to cover the last five questions of this exam set from question number 36 to question number 40 with detailed explanation and answers that will help you to pass the ISTQB Foundation latest version exam, which is version 4. So first question of this video says, which of the following activities in the test process make the most use of test progress reports? Okay, so theoretical question, we just have to select one option in the test process, these activities which make most use of test progress report. Now, when, if you had gone through the syllabus and the, the course material that I have posted on the channel test progress report is more whenever the execution is happening the completion right that's where you share the test progress report so anything with the design no test completion is where you use the make make the most use of the test progress report not in the analysis not in the planning right so B is the correct option for this particular case. There is no calculation. This is more of if you have gone through the syllabus, you read, you will get to know this, but these type of questions easily. And these type of questions are easy and very quick to solve as far as you know the concept. So you get more time on the complex question. For example, the previous in the previous video that I have covered, right? So these are a little bit complex questions. So anything theoretical that you come up, that's where you go ahead with the detailed course material syllabus. So these type of question you are quickly able to solve. Okay. Now moving to the next question of this particular video, which of the following is not an example of how configuration management supports testing. Okay. So we have to find what doesn't, which is not an example of how config management supports testing. And it, this, this is more of config management supporting testing specific context, right? So let's see. And we have to select one option. Again, this is a simple question. If you have read the syllabus and the content and the course you will be able to answer these questions really quickly okay so first option says all commits to the repo repository are uniquely identified in version control so this is basically the is an example of configuration management supporting testing all changes in the test environment elements are tracked this is also supporting uh, how or is an example of configuration management supporting testing all requirement specifications are referenced unambiguously in test plan that's also support so that means we are just left with one option which says all identified defects have an assigned status so this is basically not an example of how configuration management support testing this because this is more of a defect management right so d is the correct option and all three are an example of configuration management supporting testing and we have to figure out what we have to figure out the not an example so not an example is the last one all identified defects have an assigned status okay this is more of a defect management not the configuration management supporting testing activity moving to the next question or third question of this particular video now we have a question which says consider the following defect report for a web-based shopping application wherein we have application web shop the name of the application the web shop uh, along with the version defect title is there login button not working then we have steps to reproduce we have couple of steps launch website click on the login button we have expected result mentioned there we have actual result mentioned there the user should be redirected to the login page is expected actually what happening what's happening is the login button does not re respond when clicked severe Priority is mentioned, priority is also mentioned. Severity is high, priority is urgent. Okay. Now, based on this defect report, what they're asking is, what is the most important information that is missing from this report, right? Now, if you see this report, this report looks fine on the first view or first look, but there is a very important information that is missing from this report and that's what you have to figure out. Okay. So, first thing is we have to select one option. And these are the four options. Name of the tester and date of the report. This is not the most important information, right? This doesn't, even if this is missing, this is not going to impact too much, right? This is, this is information that by automatically the tools capture it, but this is not most information, important information that is missing. So we can cross that out. Test environment elements and their version numbers. Yes. So the test environment elements and the version numbers is most likely 
only that is basically missing c identification let's go and eliminate other options so that we conclude that this is the correct option c says identification of the test object no this is there this is already there test object is web shop version mentioned there so this is already mentioned okay then impact on the interests of stakeholder the impact severity is also mentioned severity and priority also mentioned so impact is basically also mentioned so the correct answer is b why because no test environment details are mentioned basically where which test environment this particular defect is there which server the tester has launched this particular application on for example there could be a test environment sit1 right with name sit1 where this particular version of the application is deployed where the tester is testing it and then the version number right so what exactly is the deployed version what is the application version that is also missing so this is the very important information that should go into the defect report because if there are five different test environments not everywhere this particular issue might be happening because on sit1 only this particular version would have been deployed so now once the developer gets into these details they can go ahead to that particular environment and to that version and see this particular issue and then go ahead and fix so this is the correct option test environment elements and their version numbers are missing from this defect report okay now moving to the fourth question of this particular video tools from which of the following categories help with the organization of test cases detected defects and configuration management right so they are asking one option we have to choose one option tools from these categories which of the following categories will help in organizing the test case detected defects and configuration management as well so do we have something test execution and coverage tools test design and implementation tools defect management tools and test management tool now if we talk about organization of test cases detected defects and configuration management we don't have to have specific everything combined right so what which tools provide all of these three categories or different categories combined is test management tool now if we talk about just defect management tool they'll just provide the defect management capabilities and not the organization of the test cases so the correct answer is test management tool not the defect management tool not the test design and implementation tool not the test execution and coverage tool all of these three categories are part of test management tool so out of these categories test management tool will help in organizing test cases your test runs detected defects defect management configuration management all of this is part of the test management tools category okay so that's the correct answer for this particular question now the last question of this particular video and last question of this particular exam set question number 5 or question number 40 of the exam set which of the following is most likely to be a benefit of test automation right so what is most likely to be a benefit of test automation we have to select one option we have let's go ahead and read what is most likely the benefit so a uh, option a says the capability of generating test cases without access to test basis that's absolutely baseless statement without access to test basis you cannot go ahead and generate the test cases right even with the automation somebody some tester goes ahead and analyzes the test base and then comes up with the test cases automatic generation of the test cases without access to test basis is not possible with some of the AI tools automatic generation of some of the very popular and common test cases might be possible nowadays but without the test basis and without the thought process test the capability of generating test cases without access to test basis is not possible right so this is wrong option and is most likely not a benefit of test automation the achievement of increased coverage through more objective assessment now objective assessment is again we get achieve we might get increased coverage but objective assessment is not it's basically done by the testers only when the execution has happened by the automation tools they see what sort of coverage is there and is there anything that is basically missing so objective assessment is also done by the testers and not the automation tool or automation so that's is that is also not the most likely likely benefit of test automation the increase in test execution times available with higher processing power that's also not a most likely benefit of test automation because
because execution time or the number increase in number of execution time does not make much or most like is not a most likely benefit of the test automation okay so that leaves us with the last option which says the prevention of human errors through greater consistency and repeatability absolutely correct because when you have automation script you have your test data which comes in a pre-formatted file or you have stored that particular data so the chances of human error or human error entering that particular data is very less also because you have a set amount of data and set of data so the consistency and repeatability right is there through when when you have the automation scripts running that particular test cases or set of test cases so this is the most likely benefit of test automation prevention of human errors through greater consistency and repeatability okay so that's basically all about these five test five uh, questions the exam questions for ISTQB foundation for this particular exam set and this particular video so with this exam set C all the 40 questions have been covered with detailed explanation go through all these explanations because your exam format will more or less be on the similar line and these videos are absolutely information and knowledge packed so it doesn't matter they are sample questions you have sample answers but uh, available all the places but the criteria that I have taken to explain these questions in detail will definitely help you to grab more or get more understanding into the testing concepts how things are applied and how you're going to approach the exam questions for ISTQB foundation exam okay so that's all I'll come up with more questions in upcoming videos thank you see you in the next one